What's up guys, Raps here and welcome to one of my tutorials. Um, yeah, it's actually going to be my first tutorial I made on this channel, so I'm quite stoked. And today we're going to be covering how to make this effect. Right now, this, yeah, I'm not really exactly sure how, what it's called. Yeah, so basically it's a effect where person grants or objects goes through the screen and then clips another clip follows it behind uh, making this kind of nice effect um, usually Stora does this effect like with most of the videos if you follow them a lot I do because I love the edits which they come up with especially such as editing is just on point so yeah you, you just saw this effect over here so he goes through and change the frames for this tutorial I'm gonna be using Premiere Pro and After Effects I think most of the things you could do basically is on After Effects on its own however the time time of it would be much more consuming that's why most parkour videos and stuff are usually made on Premiere because Premiere is quite a it's really an easy way to put them together and using After Effects you can play around with them so basically first thing you want to do is open Premiere Pro depending where your like your entire video is going to be right so you you're basically in the middle of your editing and you want to do this effect so you just drag a clip where you have a person running going through or a wall basically anything which has a kind of edge lines where you could put a another clip through so in this case we have my friend Jimmy running like a spaz using the lowest point on the screen here and that's the point where there is not really much space that's the most yeah basically you have not much more, more space and that's what we want here that's why you can use a clip here which will be dragging through the screen so depending on what direction your object is you kind of want to put the clip behind them so in my case it's left side of Jimmy and so yeah we basically want a clip following behind him so we drag this in so all we have right now is just him running yeah so then we just wanna drag a second clip um, which is gonna be the one which we'll be transferring to um, so we have this clip here so all we need to do now is simply replace click on the pro like on the clip and click on replace with after effects on position this will open after effects um, this will basically convert basically this will drag this to this so we want to find this moment we were talking about and this is this one here yeah so we want to click on the pen tool and start masking out the point where we want the transition to actually begin with so I'm gonna zoom in on a clip uh, over here and we're gonna go through the corner basically just masking it out getting through the edges yep I'm gonna be doing only a rough job but when when you turn it like make sure you have it as nicely and neatly as possible so click on the clip press M on your keyboard and click on invert once you click on invert all you want to do now is actually you kind of yeah you click on mask buff now just go through the frames and repeat the process of just fixing the mask now fuck it yeah so now click on the mask and do so
and we're back so now we've reached a frame where we're kind of going off um, yeah at least in my case so now what we're gonna do is simply drag them in and make sure everything gets masked out So we just do this. So right now all we actually have is this. Yeah, it's not greatest. Yeah. So now what we didn't want to do is make a copy of this and on one of them simply do it like this so basically what I did I just did is duplicated it and cut like shorten it from one side and yeah um, this is just so I can remove the mask on one side and keep it mask on the other side so it basically there is no start like there is no mask at the beginning as he runs and then as he gets here, the mask comes in. Yeah. So we have this now. And that's quite cool, but yes, it's not really perfect yet. Next thing we really want to do is get those sharp lines out of the way. So we're going to click on the first clip of with the mask. Click M scroll down on the mask and then we see mask further and you want to bump this up fairly high um, because basically that's the edges of the line and you want to make it as kind of as smooth as kind of blurry smooth type of thing so yeah the, the lower the number is the le basically the le more harsh it is so you kind of want to bump it up, up to like 60 uh, maybe a bit yeah I think I'm gonna go for 100 yeah so there is not really this harshness which was just be before now so yeah you're gonna close this out and we basically kind of have the effect so yeah right now it's just P runs up to nowhere nothingness yeah and as we probably see here the lines are quite obvious to see so we're gonna correct this um, on the mask simply drag them a bit higher cool um, so now yeah we have this and my Premiere Pro is a bit, being a bit dodgy now um, so yeah next thing you want to do is place the clip under and we basically have the effect you want um, so yeah you just place the position of the clip here and depending where you want to start just place it and so as he runs the clip will go yeah so you can see here and for some reason dodgy lines appear on this bit not exactly sure what's happening here oh yeah because you need to fix the lines on all the bits yeah that should be alright yeah and that just fixed it cool so once we have this yeah it basically kind of looks alright um, yeah so now we all we want to really do is maybe add some blur to it um, which might make it a bit more easier to watch um, so we're just gonna go to effects and type uh, 
camera blur. Oh, it doesn't matter which blur you are. Cam camera blur, yeah. Doesn't really matter which layer you're actually using. Um, this volume went down to about, I don't know, um, yeah. Percent. So, I'm just gonna bump it up to like. Seven, seven is going to be fine, and then go back to zero. Yeah, so basically that's all it really is. Also, you could do drop. Um, you could just copy this effect and drop it onto the other clip, um, just to make it look much nicer. So yeah. That's the basic way of doing this clip, um, this effect. It's not really hard effect to do. Uh, it's more just time consuming when it comes to having to mask out the entire thing. Um, so yeah, peace. I'm out.